The case study I chose was the wild boy of Avrion. The neurological condition is speculated to be autism spectrum disorder. The wild boy of Avrion was found around the age of 11 or 12 near a French village during a cold winter night. It is thought that he had been in the wild since he was around four or five years old. The villagers had noticed a wild boy for several years around the village. They took him in, but he did not seem to want the cooked food, blankets, or beds they offered. He escaped from them twice, only to be captured again. The third time they kept him for several months until he was taken to an institute. He was brought to the Deaf and Mute Institute, where he was initially studied by Philippe Pinel. Pinel labeled the boy as a hopeless idiot. He said he would never be able to learn language or empathy. A student of Pinel's became a resident at the institute and began working with the boy he called Victor. That student's name was Jean-Marc Gaspard Itard. Jean-Marc Gaspard Itard was a surgeon during the French Revolution under Napoleon. He was devoted to working with the deaf, so his residency he obtained at the Deaf Mute Institute was exactly where he wanted to be. Jean-Marc Gaspard Itard was a young medical student who took Victor in and attempted to study him, socialize him, and attempt to teach him language. Despite the fact that he could hear, he was taken to the National Institute of the Deaf for the purpose of study. Itard believed that two things separated humans from animals, empathy and language. He wanted to be the first person to fully civilize a wild child and attempted primarily to teach Victor to speak. From the start, Victor showed animal-like behavior. He defecated where he was standing, he was dirty, he would climb trees, and he did not know a language. Itard began teaching Victor through simple lessons. He would start with simple tasks. He would put three shapes on a pegboard and leave it for several days. Then he would take them off and have Victor put them back where they belong. Eventually, he was able to do the task with no mistakes, so Itard made the task more and more difficult until Victor could do the most difficult tasks with no mistakes. He would also take a chestnut and place it under one of three cups, asking Victor to identify which cup had the chestnut under it. The task would get harder with more chestnuts and eventually no nuts at all, just an object like a button. This showed that Victor was becoming more human without the motivation for food. He was able to enjoy a task or a game. Since Victor had been alone in the wild since around four or five years old, he had to learn everything from scratch. A quote I read said, combining exploration and instruction they not only enhanced those sensorial experiences by stimulating interactions with the outside world of objects and other people, but also introduced the boy to the meaning of things. It's hard, for example, used play and educational procedures to teach the boy the meaning of sounds and symbols, gradually introducing speech and language. During these lessons, it's hard would take Victor outside for walks, only Victor did not like to walk. Itard had to keep up with him because he liked to run and climb. Itard found that exposing Victor to the civilized world without allowing him some freedom to be in the fields caused him more distress than anything. He made a lot of gains during his lessons with Itard. He began to show table manners, use the washroom, and sleep in a bed. Something very exciting in this case was after years he was able to tell the difference between hot and cold. He wore clothes, he cried, and he sneezed. He also learned to develop attachments. He became attached to Itard and his housekeeper, Madame Guerin. There were some drawbacks to this case. He still had animal-like tendencies. He never gained proper speech. He also had a childlike dependency for the rest of his life. A quote I read about, the, about his retroactive behavior was, there is one mention, though, of Victor attending a dinner party of Parisian socialties that didn't go well. Early in the dinner, Victor grabbed handfuls of the fruits and nuts on the table, ran off into the garden, climbed a tree, and proceeded to enjoy eating his dinner his way. 
Victor was only able to make a few sounds and pronounce minor words. He would say late for milk, but he would not use it in order to get milk just after receiving it. He then used it for any time he felt happy or excited. He would say oh you for oh God and you for water. Those are the only words or phrases he learned through this process. The research done with Victor helped many disciplines in their future work. Special education now existed after having no hope for centuries. Tools Guitard used are still used today in special ed classes and Montessori schools. This case also helped solidify the importance of learning language early. It helped establish the critical learning period for language. There were several books written about Victor, most of which called The Wild Boy of Avrion or something of that nature, all done on the research by Itard. There was also a movie made about the case called The Wild Child, from which most of my pictures came from since the actual story happened in the early 1800s. There is no actual footage, just the paintings I've put on the slideshow. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed my take on this case.